Hey everyone, my name is James and welcome back to Chippy's Couch. So let me start today's episode by just saying a big happy Halloween to each and every one of you. If you're watching this on October 31st, that rings true. But you know what, if you're watching this in the future, I totally get it. I go back all the time. And if you're not in that Halloween spirit, you could always bang on Nightmare Before Christmas. That's what I do if it goes past Halloween, but it's still before Christmas. Nightmare Before Christmas. It's actually one of my favorite films of all time. I love it. And maybe I wanted to use this intro to highlight how good a film it is. It's really, really good. But welcome back. We're back for another day of our yo-yo only adventure. And in today's episode, we're going to do something pretty thematic. I didn't, you know, anticipate it to line up this way. I got a cold. I had a few days off, as many of you know. Sorry about that. But that being said, we're now going to do The Lich on Halloween, which makes it even better. So The Lich is the Halloween boss that comes as part of the Thorium mod. I actually thought it was Calamity. Like, I was getting it all kind of wrong in my head. And then I was like, you know what? I should probably Google that just before I annoy a bunch of Calamity fans, right? No, it turns out it's Thorium, and we're going to do it tonight. And then we're also going to do The Destroyer, because as many of you know, in the last episode, there was a bug that caused it to not take damage. I think what it was, was its armor penetration was set to like this ridiculously high number. It was a bug, but it's now been fixed. I've got the latest version off the Calamity Discord. So because this is the Halloween special of our yo-yo adventure, what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up some goodie bags, because I still have a few from the last episode. And we're going to pick an outfit for the entire episode. I thought that'd be fun to just dress up a little bit. I mean, that's what they're there for, right? In Terraria, so you can have a little bit of fun. So I've got 12 goodie bags to open. Now, hopefully I get something I actually like within these 12. Otherwise, it's not going to look good for the rest of the episode. I'm going to look like a pleb. Right, so we got a painting. We got the Blood Moon Countless or Countess. Cool. Got some eggs. We got Jacking Skeletron which is kind of amazing, fits into the intro. All right, we got Ninja Turtle. Hmm. We've also got the robot. All right, we got the uh, the space creature one. We've got some more rotten eggs. We've got the pixie outfit. We've got another painting. Vampire set. Ooh, treasure hunter. And yeah, that seems about it. All right, which one am I going to go with? I'm going to go with the vampire outfit. I think the vampire outfit is better than all of the rest. I'm going to be honest with you. Not like in general, but I do think it's better than these. Is that controversial? It's probably not controversial. I was just thinking they should have a, uh, a Joker one, but I'm pretty sure you can buy a clown outfit once you've destroyed one of the clowns on a blood moon from the cloth ear. I should probably know the cloth ears like item pull off by heart. You know, if I've got to brand everything around the cloth ear, I should know it inside and out, but I don't. So, yeah, that's cool. We're a vampire. All right. Well, let's kill a little bit more time because we've got, like, just a little bit more to go. So, let me sell off some of these outfits. These are all really cool. I don't really uh, connect to the Ninja Turtles. I never really grew up watching it. It wasn't on telly when I was a kid. I was, like, one of those kids that had um, Freeview in Britain. If you're in Britain, you know what that is. Essentially, it's like, if you don't pay for TV, other than paying for your TV license, you're watching Freeview, right? So that's what I had. And Freeview did not have the Ninja Turtles, unfortunately. Oh, this painting's kind of cool, actually. I don't think I've ever really noticed this one. Is this one part of the mod? Or is it just part of the game? It's probably part of the game, to be completely honest, but... Kind of cool. Which one's this one? See, I feel like I know this one a little bit more. You feel vibrations from deep below. Is that the Destroyer? I'm fairly certain that's the Destroyer. You know what? We're going to do something fun. We're going to do... A double fight, right? We've got a free fight coming on the way. So let me make a Grim Harvest Sigil. And let me craft that. Bam. Thank you very much. Is the Lich the one that we had in the Thorium mod where it kept uh, despawning? Because I feel like it is. I feel like that's the one it is. <laughs> and uh, and if that's the case, this is going to be like a case of, um, let's stay in one area. We can't fight the Destroyer properly. All right, let me buy for you guys at home. Sorry, mobile viewers. I will buy... You know what? A shine will do. <laughs> I was going to buy Night Owl, but I just completely messed that up. Right. Bam. Okay, we got the Lich. I don't know if a naturally occurring boss fight can happen while you've already got a boss fight on the go. But I have a feeling like it can happen. 
Right, the Lich is going amazing. It's going pretty quick. Yeah, this is the one that I was thinking of. The one that you have to uh, actively avoid. You know, you have to, like, bob around. Avoid the projectiles. Man, remember how hard this was in the throwing class series? I must have done this fight about ten times. This fight was a, a pain in the, uh, you know... It was not great. Because <laughs> I remember, I was, uh... I just kept getting out of the way of it, and it kept despawning. But that's always been a problem with, uh, with Thorian bosses in me. They always, uh, despawn on me. This is going pretty well. It looks like I'm, like, really flawlessly avoiding all of these, uh, projectiles coming down. Truth is, I am actually completely winging it, and I'm just getting really lucky. Like, I'm not putting too much thought into it. I'm not going, alright, let's sway over here, let's move over here. I know that it's gonna spawn over here in a minute. No, no, just, uh... Just winging it. All right, we're in the second form of the Lich. He looks amazing. Let me just say that. He's a very cool looking boss fight. Um, I didn't fully remember what he looked like. I feel like I remember him looking a bit more like a pumpkin in my head. I know that he, does, he doesn't, right? It's not like I had a sprite change in the past couple of weeks. But still, it is different. What I would love for is the uh, Destroyer to just spawn him right now. That'd be pretty sick. I like that a lot. All right, do you have to kill the Lantern? Probably. Okay, this fight is going amazing. We're actually getting a lot closer to getting the next yo-yo, which is amazing too. It's been a while since we've had a yo-yo. We're going to defeat Calamitous, essentially. And um, and I'm pretty sure after we do this and we do the Destroyer, Calamitous is uh, up next. Okay. Alright, let me just take my uh, Thorium healing. Alright, so it's got 1,600 health left. Let's just, Let's end this thing. <laughs> This is going all right, though. I'm, I'm, I'm actually very impressed with this. So it is Halloween, man. I'm celebrating already. I woke up and I had some Haribo for breakfast. Was that a bad idea? I'm beginning to think so, because I don't know what, what substance a Haribo has. It's just, it's just jelly. It's just gelatin. And I'm going to be honest, I don't know if I'm getting cynical with my older age. Right, I'm only 22. It's not that old. Not a boomer yet. But, um, but that being said... I just don't think they taste of anything. They really don't. They just taste like, um, just stuff. You know what I mean? Like, it's just like, you just chew it, and, and that's it. That's the only satisfaction is, is the chew. We got some cursed cloth from that. Cool. All right, well, since my, um, my fight isn't going on, I'm going to grab a mechanical worm, and I'm just going to do this while I've got all of my buffs. Actually, do you know what? It's probably so risky to do that, because... Because I actually want to do this fight. I've been kind of like wanting to do this fight for so long now. It feels like almost a meme on this channel about trying to defeat the destroyer. Because it's just been chaos after chaos. Alright, let me uh, let me grab some of this. I'm enjoying like getting a bunch of different potions. And I'll grab Cadence as well. Although Cadence actually disables these two potions now. Or at least it clarifies that, which I thought was pretty interesting. So, the Destroyer, it's time. I didn't get my free one, so I'm just like, may as well do this. Okay, am I able to do damage? The answer is yes. <laughs> this was uh, pretty hard before to do it. You know what, though? At least now I know that I can do a fight where you just destroy all the probes. Like, I know that that's possible. Very cool. <laughs> you watch, right? Now that, um, now that I can do damage to it. It's going to kill me. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Like, I managed to get through the entire night not dying to this fight when I was just trying to uh, defeat all the probes. Like, now I can do real damage. All the probes pop out a little bit faster. Maybe that kills me quicker. Look, I don't know. It's just good to do it. So, with this being defeated, it actually opens up um, a bunch of upgrades, I believe. I'm pretty sure you can make the, um, the upgrade to the boots. You can also make... Um, I'm trying to think, you can make like, um, what's the glove called? The Titan glove that gets upgraded, it gets upgraded to the power glove. I'm pretty sure you can make a power glove around now. And I think because we're rocking a yo-yo setup, maybe the glove will be a, a pretty good idea. Although, I don't believe I actually have the, um, the lava charm so that I can make a fire gauntlet, which would be even better. All right, coming up to the end, and bam, there we go. The Destroyer has been defeated, finally. Finally, finally, finally. It feels so good to have done that fight after so long, after so many little errors with it. You watch, I'm going to get my free fight in a minute. It's going to be amazing. All right, so let's open this up. We got ourselves some hollow bars, some plating. We also got a mechanical wagon piece. 
Now, let me have a little look at this plating because I'm pretty sure it makes a new type of armor. Yeah, it does. It makes the uh, the Bard class armor. So, it's not something necessarily that we're going to make. It's also the same for um, for the Hallowed armor. I don't think we're, we're going to make Hallowed. I think we're going to leave Hallowed where it is. But what I will do is I will look up that recipe for the, uh, the Angel Treads. So, here it is. You need three of the souls, you need some Aerolite bars, you need a Harpy ring, the Lava Waders. I might actually have a pair of Lava Waders in anticipation for this. Let me double check. Lava... Wait, yeah, okay, I do. So I did think ahead on that one. So let me slap that in there. Actually, let me slap everything in. Let me get rid of all this, because I'm not going to be needing it. These weapons are very cool, though. I do think they're uh, pretty interesting. Oh, you also got a Pumpkin Moon Medallion. I didn't even notice. That's kind of cool. Do you do the pumpkin moon at this point in the game? I would have to look that up. I always get kind of confused with it. I'm not going to lie. Right, so we need to make a harpy ring, which I might already have. Harpy ring? Okay. Uh, and I've already got Aerolite, clearly. So I should be able to make the angel treads. So I'll make those. Bam. This is a, a pretty big upgrade. If you haven't played Calamity before, the angel treads are uh, where the movement starts to get pretty wobbly. In a good way. And it's funny because you don't notice it. Because you're like slowly upgrading over time. And then you stop playing Calamity. And you log back onto your old world. And you're like, oh my god, it's like walking on ice. So that's cool. Um, let's also have a little look at... Just the, just souls in general. Let's have a little look at what we can do. So, we currently have a Warrior's Emblem. Now you can make the Avenger's Emblem. And then you can make a Mechanical Glove out of the Power Glove. So, can I make a power glove? I don't think I can because I don't think I have the actual glove. Let me just double check. Glove. So, the only glove I can make is a honeycomb glove. So, I don't think I'm going to be needing that anytime soon. Alright, so I'm not going to be making a honeycomb glove. But what I thought I would do is a big jump cut. So, what I did was I waited until the night time. And I farmed out for a couple of blighted lenses. I get kind of tilted about this. Essentially, a blighted lens drops from these little blighted eyeballs, and you have to wait until night time, and they're kind of rare, and they're kind of annoying to get. And I get tilted about it because I'm like, you know what? Just cut that from the recipe. So what we're going to do now is Calamitous. Now, Calamitous is going to give us a brand new yo-yo. However, this is going to be kind of a test run. I've not fought Calamitous in a long time. And I don't know exactly what arena I'm going to need. So I thought this would be cool to add on to today's episode. Because the episode is a lot shorter than I first anticipated. This always happens to me. I do a boss fight a lot quicker than I first thought. And then I'm like, how do I do the rest of the episode? I like doing it by bosses. I have a plan. The plan never goes right. So, that being said, it's going to be a cool test run. Happy Halloween, everyone. This is going to be a pretty spooky boss. It actually is. This boss is uh, is great. I really like Calamitous. I think it's one of the most iconic Calamity bosses because of Supreme Calamitous. This is like the fake one, right? At the end, it's like, aha, this was fake. Not this time. You're not going to get me this time, all right? Okay, so let's see how my damage is. So I remember in the past, there's been arenas where I've had like the whole world and I've run up and down. And then I'm pretty sure I've had fights where I've... Um, I've just kind of like done it like this, where I've just tried to maneuver out the way, see what happens. So I think with Calamitous, what happens is you have this first fight, which is all right, this initial phase. And then it transitions into something a little bit more. It adds in these uh, these brothers to it. All right, so that was just baiting me in. That was like, you, you think you can defeat Calamitous? Yeah, boy, think again. So now it's the real deal. Got amazing music. Oh, it's just so good. It's iconic, right? You can't be iconic. Let me tell you something about being iconic, right? I thought this was amazing. So I use Instagram a lot, or I'm trying to use it a lot because I think it's a cool app. You know, I'm trying to get into it, right? So I started following this hashtag for uh, for Rolex, Rolex watches. I really like the look of Rolex watches. I have done since I was young. I don't own a Rolex, and I probably never will, because as many of you will know, they're very expensive, right? But, I think we can all agree that they're iconic. And this is what made me laugh, right? So I've been following this Rolex uh, hashtag. And yesterday, I stumbled across this Rolex that has a Domino's Pizza logo on it. 
they took something that's like, it's got this hundred year of history, it's an air king, and they slapped a, a Domino's logo on it. I mean, we're talking like second hand, this is a five grand watch with a Domino's logo on it. But Loki, I actually think it's so good. <laughs> and then I was like, you know what? I gotta do research about this Domino's Rolex, right? What's going on with this? And I actually found that the, re the, the history of it was really interesting, right? So I'm glad I got you guys to talk to about this because Court does, does not care about the history of the Domino's Rolex. So essentially, the founder of Rolex got this customized uh, watch with a Domino's logo on it. I think it was, I don't know if, I don't think it was a Rolex. And this manager came to him and he was like, how do I get that Rolex? And he was like, well, if you do 25 grand of sales in a week, I'll give you this watch, right? You can have it. And he gave him this watch off his own back. So he partnered with Rolex to do this thing called like the Rolex challenge or something like that. And essentially, if you could meet this certain criteria in this week, you'd get yourself a Rolex. And apparently it still goes on to this day. And what you have to do now is you have to get four weeks in a row of earning 25 grand at the Domino's. Good luck, fam. Good luck with that. Domino's is kind of manky where I live. Domino's is hit and miss. I either really like it or it's like, it's bad. Kind of like this Rolex. Was this a weird tangent for a video? I'm pretty sure it was. But you know what? Just talking about something so random and generic, it has kept me nice, calm and focused, which is what you want in a boss fight, right? So the fight's going well so far. However, it doesn't mean it's going to be good all the way through. I will say this, it's definitely different doing it in expert mode compared to uh, to Revengeance or Death mode. Because I do remember in Revengeance or Death mode, I don't think I'd have got this far. To be completely honest with you. I will say this, because of the fact I've got a yo-yo, it's kind of hard to hit all the, the little extra bits, to be completely fair. So I think what I'm going to do now is, actually, do you know what? I'm so close to death, I think I'm just going to die. <laughs> I'm not purposely going to die, but I do think it's coming. But what I was going to say was I'm going to try and zone out and, uh, and do, enjoy the rest of the fight and see if I can win. But I really don't think I can. I think I'm, I'm, I'm a dead man. Let's see, though. You know what I would change for the next fight? I'm going to change my arena. I'm going to reforge some of my accessories to just be a little bit more damaging. And, um, and I'm going to get some better potions. I don't think I had all the potions, all the correct ones. Oh, man. All right. Well, there we go. Calamitous. Gave it a good first go. You learned a little bit about a five grand watch with a Domino's logo on it. Look it up. Just look it up if you're interested, if it sounded interesting. Okay, right. Well, I think that's going to do it for today's episode. Guys, happy Halloween. I'm going to enjoy my Halloween night. I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I do this every year. Me and Court are going to like bang on the best horror film we can find. We watch a lot of horror films anyway. It's her favorite genre, but we're going to find a good one. We're going to wait for like the 10 kids that come to my house for sweets. That's going to be great. It's always good because I give them like an absolute ton because I overbuy and there's not enough kids, right? And then, yeah, that's how I'm going to enjoy my night. It's going to be good. I'll eat some like trash food. It's going to be great, right? See you all tomorrow, guys. I hope you're all well. See you in the next one. Peace.